We wanted everybody to remember that despite all of the hardships and things that have been going on in the world, there is so much to celebrate. Creatives that have been isolated continue to work. They continue to find ways to express themselves, possibly even more so than ever. I just recently like launched my um, design studio. Um, it's called Bopa Studios. Day to day I'm working a, a full 9 to 5. I've been working on this in the after 5 and the before 9. Looking at the bench is like the different like iterations of it are coming out like nicely. Um, yeah, we sent one to Australia. Yeah, waiting for feedback on that. There's a lot happening on the international front which is very exciting for me. I signed with a gallery in Paris uh, at the end of last year and then I exhibited now in Bordeaux for a month. In May it was collectible design fair in Brussels and I'm exhibiting in New York in a month. Being able to just imagine something and then you know and then you bring it to life, you know, it just it gives you a sense of satisfaction that I just cannot really describe. It was very important for me to find an expression of the energy that's bubbling at the surface. I think this is something that we really have an opportunity to share with the world. It's something unique, all of our voices coming together in a very positive way. I've got a big fat drum, big fat drum, I've got a big fat drum. Pawning so bad, I've got a big fat drum, big fat drum, I've got a big fat, big fat, big, 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 big. Listen! So the right here, right now exhibition is in the beautiful Union House and that's in the heart of Cape Town and it's a four-story building which is absolutely incredible to visit. The first floor is a very dramatic exhibition. It has a showcase of established designers but also includes the work of emerging designers like Jan Arnst who is one of our current um, finalists on a Hot Young Designer competition as well as the work of Corsi Leteba in collaboration with Laurie Veed. Corsi was one of the winners of our Industry Day and the collaboration is a really showstopper one with two incredible benches that were manufactured by Veed Studios. Mopa Studios focuses more on emotional design because for me I believe good design isn't just about how it looks, it's also about how it feels. It should evoke an emotion in you when like, you, know, you have my pieces in, in, in your space. Um, recently I was approached by Aranda to make um, a collection of like Basutu blankets so it's a new take on Basutu blankets, a contemporary take of Basutu blankets. I just wanted to bring that modern feel, something that can relate to this new generation. I also wanted to see how ceramics could be uh, pushed into a larger scale. I then started exploring and experimenting with furniture um, and that's where all the pieces uh, came from for the Cloud uh, Right Here Right Now exhibition. And we also have an incredible artwork in this space by Tamlin Blake. She's also the curator of the arts, um, the Hub uh, Art Collection. We also had the Kiskama Embroiderers. They came through from the Eastern Cape to be here and they were working on an eight meter long tapestry, an embroidery that was started in the lockdown and it's the COVID piece. We have Sandaline from Naturalis. We have the maker's floor. And here we have the guys from Langa that all work on recycled projects through an incredible initiative called Our Workshop. On that same floor we have a shanti, a shanti design work with recycled t-shirt material and they create incredible lampshades and mirrors all out of this extraordinary material that would have landed up in landfill and they've now repurposed and upcycled this material to become something absolutely extraordinary. We have a, a showcase which I'm incredibly proud of. Um, it's the Hot Young Designers prototypes. So six of the Hot Young Designers were invited to be here in person. They've been on a journey to see some of their pieces prototyped and this was the first time we shared this collection with the public. I have the piece of bench which I redesigned from the original concept and then I also have the Kanisa lights. I've been working on refining the Shongololo bench that was one of the top 10 Nanazot Young Designer pieces last year and just refining that into different pieces and a range. Got the opportunity thanks to Nanus to collaborate with Talk 
uh, in Johannesburg to produce a prototype of a Shangalolo chair and ceiling light, hanging light. The gimbal unit is inspired by the Swati tradition. When I was designing the gimbal unit, I didn't want to go for the, you know, the, the regular rectangular shape, you know, like, you know, you have a cabinet with four legs and all that. I just wanted something that's just organic, it just flows, you know. And um, the, the Ndebele wall panel is obviously inspired by the Ndebele culture. And then Anelo Versi's bench in collaboration with Mpo from Urban Nature is also there for the public to see. Mpo took the design and she actually put her flair um, onto it, which kind of also for me made it very true to the to the idea of collaborating with someone where both parties are represented within the design. I was thoroughly pleased the entire time. Katlejo, our winners' pieces were made by Dr. and Mrs. and they're there for people to see. Absolutely exquisite. It's also looking back at like the idea of like Isamu or like the traditional African cross mats and like how can we take that idea and like bring it into like something that's like a light or like a pendant, yeah. I've curated a collection of accessories, small items that are made by many of our established designers and emerging designers. Um, there's a very special piece by Tabisa and Jo, um, which was launched here, and little lamps that she's made. Lots of incredible ceramic pieces. South Africans are brilliant at, at ceramics, so there's a wonderful collection included there. And beautiful lights, really incredibly well-crafted lights. Dan Sachs had the most extraordinary new bench and um, coffee tables that he launched, such beautiful surface design. We also had incredible new chairs and tables from Pedersen and Leonard. It really was great to see that despite the challenges out there, designers really leapt at this opportunity to showcase their new products. Candice Lawrence has a number of new colorways on her mirrors. Just as, as a showcase of new from established designers, it was really exciting to see all of this new work coming to the fore. I met a lot of um, people who actually had a, a lot of experience in the industry and you know I've implemented some of the lessons that I've learned from those people. You know you, you cannot grow um, as, a, as a business owner unless you, you, you hold yourself accountable for everything that goes wrong in, in, in the business you know but you you know you, you grow with your products you know as, as time goes on you as the product improves you also improve we go on a journey with the designers that we notice so all of the finalists are still part of the ecosystem it's not just a showcase it's the tip of the iceberg of what's going on in South Africa, in the creative community. Get involved. There is so much potential. There's so much optimism. There's so much energy.